welcome to edupedia world in this video we will discuss standard deviation and its coefficient standard deviation the methods of measuring dispersion discussed so far are not universally adopted for want of adequacy and accuracy range is not satisfactory as its magnitude is determined by most extreme cases in the entire group next quartile deviation has no algebraic properties and its interpretation is difficult and mean deviation is also an unsatisfactory measure as it ignores the algebraic signs of deviation therefore we need a measure of dispersion which is free from these shortcomings to some extent standard deviation is one such measure the concept of standard deviation was introduced by carl pearson in 1893 it is the most important measure of dispersion it is an absolute measure of dispersion it satisfies most of the characteristic of an ideal measure standard deviation is also known as root mean square deviation it is a square root of the arithmetic mean of the squares of deviation of the items from their arithmetic mean in the words of spiegel the standard deviation is the square root of the arithmetic mean of the squares of all deviations deviations being measured from arithmetic mean of the items it has two main characteristics first deviations are taken only from arithmetic mean second plus and minus signs of the deviations are not ignored next we come to coefficient of standard deviation it is the relative measure of dispersion it is used to compare variation of two or more distributions expressed in different units coefficient of standard deviation is calculated by dividing the standard deviation by the arithmetic mean of the data symbolically it is written coefficient of standard deviation is sd that is standard deviation divided by me difference between mean deviation and standard deviation our first basis is meaning mean deviation is the arithmetic average of the deviations of various items of a series from the average mean median or mode whereas standard deviation is the square root of the arithmetic average of the squares of the deviations of various items from arithmetic mean second basis is average used mean deviation can be computed from arithmetic mean median or mode whereas standard deviation is computed from arithmetic mean only third basis is algebraic signs mean deviation does not take into account the algebraic signs plus or minus it ignores these signs whereas standard deviation takes into account the algebraic signs plus or minus it does not ignore these signs and our last basis is capability of further algebraic treatment mean deviation is not capable of further algebraic treatment because it cannot be used to find combined mean deviation where the standard deviation is capable of further algebraic treatment that is it can be used to find the combined standard deviation these are the difference between mean deviation and standard deviation standard deviation and its coefficient can be calculated in individual series discrete series and continuous series first we will discuss individual series in individual series there is no frequency given against the value of variable x we need to arrange the data in ascending or descending order there are three methods to calculate standard deviation direct method shortcut method and step deviation method first we will discuss direct method the following steps are observed to calculate standard deviation first 
we calculate the actual mean second we find deviation from each item that is d equals to x minus mean third we find square of each deviation that is d square and last we find some total squares of deviation that is sigma d square we use the following formula to compute standard deviation standard deviation equals to sigma d square divided by n under root where sigma d square is equals to sum total of squares of deviation taken from actual mean n is is number of observation next is coefficient of standard deviation is computed by dividing standard deviation by the actual mean symbolically it is written csd equals to sd divided by mean sd is standard deviation these are the formula under direct method we will understand individual series with the help of a following illustration we have to calculate standard deviation and its coefficient from the following information using direct method marks obtained by five students are 10 8 6 14 and 12 for the solution first we will make the table of four column in the first column we will write serial number 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we will get n equals to 5 in the second column we will write marks which is denoted by letter x we will arrange the data in ascending order 6 8 10 12 14 we will get sigma x equals to 50 by this information we will calculate mean now mean equals to sigma x by n sigma x we got 50 and n is 5 so 50 divided by 5 we will get 10 in the third column we will write d equals to x minus mean x is the marks obtained by the students and mean we got 10 so 6 minus 10 comes minus 4 8 minus 10 equals to minus 2 10 minus 10 0 12 minus 10 2 14 minus 10 4 in the fourth column we will write d square that is 4 square comes 16 2 square 4 Zero square zero, two square four, four square sixteen. So we'll get sigma d square equals to forty. Now we will calculate standard deviation equals to sigma d square divided by n under root whole equals to eight under root. We will get two point eight three as standard deviation. Coefficient of standard deviation equals to s d divided by mean. SD we got two point eight three and mean we got ten, so two point eight three divided by ten we will get zero point two eight three as coefficient of standard deviation. This is how we will calculate standard deviation and its coefficient using direct method. Now we come to calculation of standard deviation and its coefficient in individual series using shortcut method. The following steps are observed to calculate standard deviation. First, we take some values of the series as assumed means, that is a. Then we find deviation for each item from this assumed means, d equals to x minus a. Then we find some total of deviation sigma d. Then we find square of each deviation that is d square, and last we find some total of squares of deviation that is sigma d square. We use the following formula to find standard deviation. Standard deviation equals to Sigma d square divided by n whole under root minus sigma d whole square divided by n whole square under root whole, where sigma d equals to sum total of deviation from assumed mean. Sigma d square equals to sum total of squares of deviation, and n equals to number of observation. Coefficient of standard deviation is calculated by dividing the standard deviation by the actual mean. Symbolically, it is written C S D equals to S D divided by mean. Let us understand shortcut method with the help of a following illustration. We have to calculate standard deviation and its coefficient from the following information using shortcut method. Marks obtained by five students: ten, eight, six, fourteen, and twelve. For the solution, we will make the table of four columns. In the first column, we will write serial number that is one, two, three, four, and five. We will get n equals to five. In the second column, we will write marks 
which is denoted by letter X in ascending order. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay. We have taken assume mean 12 here. So we have written A at the place of 12. Now, in the third column, D equals to X minus A. X is marks and A is assumed mean. So 6 minus 12 comes minus 6. 8 minus 12 comes minus 4. 10 minus 12 minus 2. 12 minus 12 0. 14 minus 12 2. We will calculate it. We will get sigma D equals to minus 10. In the fourth column that is D square. We will square the value of D. 6 square 36. 4 square 16. 2 square 4, 0 square 0, 2 square 4. We will calculate it, we will get sigma d square equals to 60. Now we will calculate standard deviation, which is equals to sigma d square divided by n under root minus sigma d whole square divided by n whole square under root whole. We will put up the value, then we will calculate it, we will get 2.83 as standard deviation. Now we come to coefficient of standard deviation which is equals to SD by mean. We need to find mean here. So mean equals to A plus sigma D by N. A is 12. Sigma D we got minus 10 and N is 5. We will put up the values. We will get mean equals to 10. Now we will put up the value of mean in the CSD formula we will get 0.283 as coefficient of standard deviation. This is how we will calculate standard deviation and its coefficient in individual series using shortcut method. Calculation of standard deviation and its coefficient in individual series using step deviation method. The following steps are observed to find standard deviation and its coefficient. First, we take some value of the series as assumed mean A. Then we find deviation for each item from assume mean D equals to X minus A. Next we find step deviation for each item by dividing each deviation by common factor C. That is D dash equals to D by C. Then we find sum total of step deviation sigma D dash. Next we find square of each step deviation D dash square. And last we find sum total of squares of step deviation sigma d dash square. We use the following formula to find standard deviation. Sigma d dash square divided by n under root whole minus sigma d dash whole square divided by n whole square under root whole multiplied by c where sigma d dash equals to sum total of step deviation sigma d dash square equals to sum total of squares of step deviations, n equals to number of observations and c equals to common factor. Coefficient of standard deviation is calculated by dividing standard deviation by actual mean. Symbolically, CSD equals to standard deviation divided by mean. Now we will understand step deviation method with the help of a following illustration. We will calculate standard deviation and its coefficient from the following information using step deviation method. Marks obtained by 5 students 10, 8, 6, 14 and 12. For the solution we will make the table of 5 column. In the first column we will write serial number that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will get n equals to 5. In the second column we will write marks which is denoted by letter x in ascending order 6, 8, 10, 12 and 14. In this particular illustration, we have taken assume means as 12. In the third column, D equals to X minus A. X is marks and A is assumed mean. So 6 minus 12, we will get minus 6. 8 minus 12 equals to minus 4. 10 minus 12 comes minus 2. 12 minus 12 comes 0. 14 minus 12 comes 2. In the next column, we will write D dash, which is equals to D by C. D is deviation, C is common factor. In this particular illustration, we have taken common factor as 2. So, minus 6 divided by 2 becomes minus 3. Minus 4 divided by 2, we will get minus 2. 
minus 2 divided by 2 we will get minus 1 0 by 2 comes 0 2 by 2 comes 1 we will calculate it we will get sigma d dash equals to minus 5 in the last column we will write d dash square we will square up the value of d dash that is minus 3 square comes 9 minus 2 square comes 4 minus 1 square comes 1 0 square 0 1 square 1 we will get sigma d dash square equals to 50 now we will write the formula of sd that is standard deviation sigma d dash square divided by n under root whole minus sigma d dash whole square divided by n whole square under root whole multiplied by c we will write the value in the particular formula and we will calculate it after calculation we will get 2.83 as standard deviation now we come to csd that is coefficient of standard deviation which is equals to sd divided by mean now we need to find out mean mean equals to a plus sigma d dash divided by n into c we get sigma d dash minus 5 n is 5 and c is 2 we will put up the values and we will calculate it we will get 10 so csd equals to 2.83 divided by 10 we will get 0 0.283 so this is how we will calculate standard deviation and its coefficient using step deviation method you have noted that in all the three methods in step deviation we get the same answer so by using any formula you will get the same answer Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.